What's good YouTube, it's your boy Wave Magnetic here. So if you liked the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then touch the notification bell so you know the next time I have a video coming out. All right, let's get to it. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Wave Magnetic here with another tutorial for you. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about uh, making a drum beat and uh, we're gonna see where this goes. Um, my basic principles on this because you know I like to keep it simple and I like it to feel like um, make it feel kind of human you know sometimes it needs to be perfectly right on the grid and sometimes you can be a little lax with it and I believe that the best way to get a human feel on uh, a track is to have a human play it instead of trying to figure out some some algorithm to make it work you feel me so the first thing you need to do with the drums is you want to find a kit, okay? So you go in the drum section on Ableton, you see you got all these different sections. So you go to the drum section, and I kind of already picked a kit that I liked. Uh, the Deep Night kit gets nice. Uh, it's kind of like a hip-hop vibe with this. I, I, I'm really feeling it. So one of the things you need is something to play it with. So um, I use my keyboard most of the time. Sometimes, uh, I, sometimes I use this, uh, my Novation Launchpad, which is cool. You know, if you want to feel the buttons and whatnot. But most, of, a lot of times, I just use the keyboard to get everything going. Um, I'll talk about these kinds of things later. But uh, so. What you want to do is first, you want to uh, start off with the kick and the bass, okay? Uh, and sometimes, like, um, with the way uh, Ableton is, you know, sometimes, like, you can, like, have a, uh, a metronome marking, and, uh, and then um, it'll just, uh, you, you play to the metronome, and you get things going. So you could do it that way, or with Ableton, you got this capture function, which is right here. If you start playing something, you'll watch the light come up. You see how this little thing popped up right here? Now, if I touch this button, you see that? It just changed, it just put what I just played in there. Uh, so it can, uh, it can do the tempo for you and everything. So, um, let's see. Let's see if I can uh, do that. Actually, um, let's mute this. So instead of me doing it with uh, the clip, the, there's another way to do it too. I, I, I'll start it this way. So like, if you want to start with the drum beat, you play the drum beat, and let's just see what we come up with. Oh, nope, we don't want to do that. Uh, let's get that over. Yeah. All right, now we hit the capture button. See that? So now, now it's right in there. It's, that's the beat that we're starting with. So you always want to start with kick and snare because that's your foundation, right? So now, now that you got that going, if you press this little circle button right here, you can overdub onto this, um, this clip and you can add MIDI to it without deleting the old MIDI. And all you got to do is just hit play. So let's try that. I'm going to add some uh, hi-hats to it. All right, so that's like a classic hip hop beat now. Now it doesn't sound perfect. So let's try and make it a little bit perfect. So we can now quantize it. So let's uh, right click inside of the clip. So you just make sure the clip is touched. Right click inside of it and hit quantize settings. 
now that you're inside quantize settings you can choose what uh, uh, what you how you want to quantize it so right now it's set to eighth notes you could change the 16th notes you could change it to 32nd notes it could be quarter notes here but I think do those are eighth notes so I must keep it at eighth notes and I'm not going to do it 100% now if you do 100% it'll be like robotic just like right in well I still want that human feel that I had going on so I'm only going to quantize it up to 60% and let's see how that sounds Now that, yeah, that, that's happening, okay? So now, there's uh, other sounds in here. Uh, okay. Let's see what I can come. Okay, so now that sounds pretty good, except for I got the one that's early. So I'm gonna move this over, see how it sounds. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, now it's still, it's like, it's got that push and pull with it because a human played it, okay? Play your instruments if you can play it. Now, if you need to do some stuff like, okay, so now I, I got my hi hats like this. So if you want to do some stuff where you want to play it and it's too fast, obviously you, you got to pencil it, pencil it in. So let's see if we can add some creativity with these hi hats. So I'm hearing in my head. So on the hi hats, I'm going to do it. So in order to put that in, I'm gonna double up on that. So do, do, da, da, da. see if this works here. Ah, no. Uh, no. Wait, what we got going on here? Did I got to set something? Uh, oh, let's keep it on narrow. There we go. All right. So, oh, you want to make sure your grid is set right, too. So my grid, I don't know what it was set to. So I got my grid set to narrow. That way it, it comes, as you zoom in and zoom out, it changes. So, you see that? And it's like, almost like a triplet. I'm gonna do it again here. I'm gonna do it again. Let's see how this sounds. Add another one. Let's see how this sounds. Oh no. Da, 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 da. Uh, I want to go over. I want to have a swing feel. You see that? Yeah.
See how it goes. And we're going to add a did it on here. See, the thing with this, everybody thinks that the drums just keep time, but the drums are melodies. It's a melody just like uh, a trumpet or a bass or uh, a synth line, uh, a singer. It's all melodies. Every instrument is a melody. Every instrument is a drum as well. So think about that. Your drums have to be melodic. The same way your synth sounds, your leads, your pads have to be rhythmic. You feel me? So for me, my hi-hat right now is telling the story. Yeah, that's dope. I think that's that's actually good enough. So let's uh, you can uh, shorten the loop just by bringing this in. This top little thing right here is where the loop is. So I'm gonna bring that in because that's just what I wanted to be. Ah, no, that's not right. So it was at one, two, ah, three. Oh yeah, I, I have to have that other measure in there. Oh well, uh, I have to have it. So we got, ah. Let's get, get, get it. Let's get that in here. And we get that there, so. Yep, that sounds right. Bam. Yeah, that's filthy. All right, so we added uh, a little, it's like a bass sound is in there, 808, that's inside the drum rack, it just was dope. And this right here adds a little bit of weight to that uh, snare drum on the fourth beat. Uh, Right there. Two, uh, one, two, three. You see, it makes it like big. Now I heard uh, this little sound. This uh, like I don't know what that is. That sound is pretty dope. So let's see if I can find a way to incorporate that. So what I do again is I hit this little circle. Now I can overdub onto this clip, and let's make this work. So now nah, that's dope. I, I really like that. Um, so now I could tighten it up a little bit, but it seems to be working. I don't know if I should. Let me hear. Yeah, that's that works. So now one of the things I'm hearing is I want that that piano sound or that long sound to cut off on um, when I hear that explosion. So where it goes, I hear that and I want it to stop. So way, one way for me to do that 
is to choke it off. That's called choking it off. So we let's open up inside here. Um, let's see if this does it. Let's close this out. Uh, yeah. Okay. So wow, there's a lot of sounds in here. So let's find out where that sound is. Okay, this sound right here, okay? So now what we wanna do is, it's already kinda set up to be choked by something. So I want this sound to be choked on, I guess it can stay on number two. So now we need to send one of the sounds to number two that I wanna choke it with. So let's see. Ah, uh, this sound. Yeah, so that one right here. Now, I'm going to choke this by sending this to number two. So everything that goes to two right here will stop the other one from playing. So watch how this this sound over here is going to choke up the, uh, the piano, the key sound. Right, that's dope. Now, one thing I don't like is this uh, piano sound. When this comes in, it sounds weak compared to the other ones. So that's because of the velocity. So the velocity is right here. If you touch this, you see it's highlighted right here. If this is up, it's louder. If it's down, ah. If it's up, it's louder. If it's down, it's quieter. So I'm gonna turn this uh, up all the way. And you know, I think I'm gonna move it over just a little bit because it's a little bit late. Now that's dope. It cuts off the piano sound is cutting off the the boom snare and the snare is the boom snare is cutting off the piano so it's making it sound like this weird uh it's making it sound like a sample, like a serious sample. So I, I'm really I think I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna make something out of this song. So yeah, that's the basics of how to make a drum beat and make us feel human and that's the way I feel. Just play the damn beat. Like you can punch it in and you know it'll be like computerized and sometimes that's right sometimes it needs to be that and you should do that but sometimes you should play it like if you want it to feel that way just play the daggone thing learn something about how to play drums learn what drums are supposed to sound like and make your drums melodic sing it like be able to sing a beat you see what I'm saying? Like, and just put it down. So, all right, if you like what you saw, like what you heard, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and hit the notifications bell so you know the next time I have a, a new uh, video coming out. And uh, check out my music. Uh, I do new music videos every month, and I have tons of music on Spotify, Wave Magnetic. And uh, also, I got new merchandise at my merch store. So if you want to get hip to some of the new tees that I got, new hoodies that I got, uh, the horn tees and whatnot, uh, you can go to uh, wavemagnetic.bigcartel.com. All right, now, see you on the next one. Peace.